Hello guys, in this video we're gonna show you Czech Republic like you've never seen before. We're gonna take you to a village close to Prague, which is not only super cute and traditional, this little village is famous for their large-scale farming. So let's go! The village we are in is called Hole and it's close to Prague and as you can see behind me there is houses which are very typical for very very old old villages. Very cute. So all these houses they have big gates which lead you into a yard and in this yard you find usually three to four different type of houses. There is the stables, then there is the actual owner's house, then there is another uh, storage for hay and for other type of feed for the animals. And then you can see also maybe another small house which is usually separately either for sleeping or for eating. So there can be like a whole complex of buildings owned by this one farmer and these farmers they have different type of things they were growing sometimes there's even small garden so what you see is not what's inside it's actually a complex of buildings and different type of establishments for the household I remember growing up these houses used to have also orchards with walnuts and the inside of the houses are very very traditional there is wooden floors and there's a fireplace area where they used to even sleep on top made of tiles and where you cook as well it's very very cute layout these villages they were usually self-sustainable so there was sometimes school or at least a teacher house where they used to go for classes for music and stuff so it has a lot of traditional feeling around it also what i love is the theme of roses each house has like a very cute entrance with set of roses i mean the love for the household you can feel from that care is just speaking to you right as we go through this village i love it One thing very special about this village is its layout around, it's all surrounded by the fields and it's just beautiful views, it's laid quite high up so you can see views all the way and all far away and because it's surrounded by fields you think of all the farmers around who are coming to harvest in the end of the summer. One thing which is great about the farm we're gonna take you to is that these farmers can actually rent equipment to use for these harvests so that's quite a benefit if you're a farmer. Yesterday sun and there was rain beauty in the Monday. what are you harvesting tell us this is poppy flowers poppy flowers nice but you can see when they lose the flower they turn into this and then you get the poppy seeds which you actually put on collage i love that one it's full of iron and vitamin B. This reminds me of my childhood memories when I used to go from school with my best friend. We used to collect these little poppy buds and we just sat and we were just opening them. And we were guessing what color it's gonna be. They can only be red, right? Nope. Then sometimes it's pink or white. Or, or, or and they then we were just be opening them to make them beautiful. Or yellow. Yellow? Oh, Very cute. that's cool. Very cute. That's something I didn't know. Agents of the other beyond gravel, beyond all. So now we're gonna go to a local shop from this farm, Farm Hole. It's open only on Wednesday and Sundays from this time, 4 30 to 7 o'clock. So be aware of that. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away? Show us where we are. What makes the sun? You can literally access any area here. This is area where they keep and store the feed. This is where it all begins for the milk journey. This is where the cows give birth. We can see some signs which we will not show you. Some signs of piece of, like parts of blood and I mean it's real. You can definitely tell what's happening here. So this is all the future mamas and the future milk ladies. And yeah. I would say, I would compare this to like a typical Czech maternity video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and for that you can watch our video about how I gave birth in Prague. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder. 
Inside by the store there is a section with baby cows, very newborn babies, some of them are not even standing yet, so that's the baby cows. And then from the other side there is a bit grown cows and you can actually come to them and stroke them and feed them and it's the cutest thing ever. This complex is quite huge, so there is also a section when you walk there backwards to the entrance. There is a section with the cows which just gave birth and they are the milk dairy cows and then if you keep going there is the pregnant cows which are not giving the milk yet. So as you're drinking, sipping on the fresh milk, you can actually see where it came from which is amazing. is where they have the grass so this is the grass-fed cows I don't know if they rotate them probably yes so they are not only closed in that cage in the stables but they can actually go and run around as you could see and eat the fresh grass so it's time to leave the farm we just left the shop and I'm gonna show you what we got we got uh, the best thing they sell there, everyone goes there for this product, which is local mozzarella. They call it actually mozzarella hole, and it's the most creamy mozzarella you ever tasted. I can bet with you, it's amazing on pizza, it's amazing just with some tomatoes and basil. I mean, you definitely need to try this if you're in Prague. I think it costs like 40 crown, which is very cheap. Yeah, 40 grams. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see, yeah, it's two pieces of mozzarella, 200 grams and 40 crown, I mean that is definitely cheaper than in shops. Then we got a raw milk which is just fresh from the cows, they give it to you in these plastic bottles, I mean you can bring your own containers but this is more convenient. So in these plastic bottles you get one liter for 20 crown and it's again the creamiest fresh milk I ever tasted, it's so sweet, I mean yeah you definitely need to try that if you have never had fresh raw milk. It's like 4% and it's unpasteurized. I think so, yeah, it's unpasteurized. So they recommend to boil it uh, just to get rid of any uh, like bacteria in it. You I don't do know. That. We don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> we just drink it fresh. And I mean, yeah, since then we never drink coffee with any other milk than this. It's just amazing. And last thing we go for here, I mean, they sell also cheese and stuff, but what they also have here is free range chickens. And I mean, they are happy chickens. And they have a movable chicken coop, which they transfer <laughs> across the land so they can always have fresh grass, fresh worms, and the eggs are very, very yummy. They are again creamy. Okay, I have so much stuff. I bought like 70 eggs. So I'll show you just how they pack them, just like a normal eggs. And they are all different size, they have all the logo and when I cook them the yolks have all different color and very 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 strong color. So that is something new which you don't really find in Czech Republic stores. So definitely recommend that and one egg is 7 crown. In shops you get it for 12 crown, 13 crown. So if you enjoyed this video, watch another of our video on village Slupanet which is a beautiful village on South Czech Republic and I will link it right here.